All right, guys, I have a quick one for you today. I thought it would be beneficial to show you all of the gear that I bring with me to a local show. And without wasting any more time, let's get into it. First, I'm using the Sony a7R 3 which I'm currently using to record this video. And the main reason I purchased this camera to begin with is due to its insane low light capabilities, which mattered a lot more before Lightroom's AI denoise came out. As far as lenses go, I'm bringing my Sony Zeiss 24-70 f4, which is also being used to record this video. Normally, I wouldn't bring this lens with me to a local show, but I know that tonight's show wants some flash photography for behind the scenes, fan interactions, meet and greets, etc. And I don't want every wide shot to be a fisheye photo. Which brings me to my next two pieces of gear. This Canon 8 to 15 millimeter fisheye lens and this Metabones adapter to connect this Canon lens to my Sony camera. There were and still are concerns about the focusing capabilities when using a Canon lens on a Sony body, but I would say 95% of the time I never have any issues. The one main time that I truly had an issue was when I was filming Blau at Beyond at the Gorge and the autofocus was absolutely horrible and simply was not cooperating with me. Now, of course, we can't forget about the 70 to 200 G master lens for those tighter shots from farther distances. This one's a given. Next up, something that I've mentioned already is the Sony flash with its official name on the screen right now. I also have this Gary Fong diffuser that helps provide that soft omnidirectional light for indoor photography. This is great for shooting at a venue like the Rosen Theater here in Portland. Next up on the list is one of my favorite combos. My Sure monopod partnered with my Sony remote shutter in order to capture some really dope photos at higher vantage points, either behind the artist or from the crowd. Next of course is my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus that I attach to my camera every single time I'm shooting video for a show, which, unless I'm on a festival photo team, is every single time. I've mentioned this a hundred times on my channel already, but I always make sure that my Rode Video Mic Pro Plus is set to negative 10 decibels, so my audio doesn't sound like this upcoming video of Phase 1 B2B Kaiwachi. Just wait for the drop. <laughs> I honestly love showing that video because of the fancy footwork in the beginning. It was all filmed handheld. Now for this specific show tonight, they're looking for a handful of iPhone content for Instagram stories, but I was gonna bring my iPhone 15 Pro Max with me anyways. And of course, last but not least, some earplugs, because I don't wanna be hard of hearing when I'm 40. That's really it for this video. I wanted it to be short and sweet. I usually mention this type of information in my longer music photography videos. So I wanted to make sure that those of you looking for gear information have a quick video that you can watch. Let me know if you want some more short and sweet videos like this one with what is hopefully high value information. Anyways, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.